Hi guys, this is Mary. You're watching Cards TV. I found a brand new site for digital stamps and it's called Elizabeth May's Collection. And this is one of the little digital stamps from there. This is Alex. And the owner and creator, Denitra, has been kind enough to let me uh, use a couple of her stamps to create some cards. And I want to show them to you guys and give you a link so that you can go over and see them for yourself. You're going to love them. They are just so cute. They're actually going to be launching on the 27th, which I think will be, let's see, today's the 23rd. I think that will be Monday, the 27th. But you can go over and become a follower and look at all the adorable little digis. They also have a challenge blog, Elizabeth May's Challenge. And right now, Denitra is having a design team call. So if you're interested in uh, creating with these little digital stamps, you need to go over and uh, get your application in. I know she's taking applications on into July, so I'll give you a link for that too. But we're going to make a card with little Alex today. So let me get all my supplies together and show you what we're going to do. Okay, as well as using little Alex on my card, I'm going to be uh, pulling some papers out of this Pink Paisley Hometown Summer Pack. This is from the front cover of the pack. I love these papers. The colors are great, the patterns, and I think it works really well with little Alex. So we're going to be using some of those. And I picked up some of these mulberry paper mini roses at Michael's. These are from Recollections. So I think we're going to use some of these on our little card. It's going to be a little shabby sheet card. And also at Joann's, I found these little ticket stamps. Love these. So I think I'm going to use this one down here. Good for one hug anytime. And I'll be stamping that with some stays on ink onto some of the paper. And I'll probably be using some creamy brown chalk ink to uh, put around everything to give it a distressed look. And I'm going to be using the Elegant Edges cartridge for a background for Alex. I love this. This has got so many neat borders and backgrounds and you can make mini albums too. And I found the one I want to use on page 23. I'm going to be using this one right here and this is scallop number one oblong. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut that one out. And I'm going to cut it at about three and a half inches. And little Alex was printed out on just some white cardstock. And I've printed her at approximately an inch and three quarters by two and an eighth. And then I took my big markers and colored her hair and clothes and everything. And I don't have a marker that does skin very well. I need to pick up a Copic for that, I think. But I did use um, some skin tone colored pencils and some Sansador to even it out. And that's what I colored her with. And then I cut her out and I'm going to put her on some foam tape and she's going to go on the uh, scallop dye long on the front of the card. So let's get everything over here ready to go. I'm going to speed it up and we're going to make a card with little Alex from the Elizabeth Mays collection.
Here's my little shabby sheet card using Alex from the Elizabeth May collection. Be sure to go over now guys and become a follower so that you'll be notified when they're on sale. The launch is going to be Monday, June 27th and you don't want to miss out. And if you're interested in the design team, be sure to go over and get your application in as well. Thanks so much for coming by today, guys, and thanks, Denitra, for letting me use some of your digital stamps. I had a great time with them, and I'll see you guys again really soon. Bye now.